and we wait not. Quaddies coming out for Quaddies. Big. Gonna get the Quaddies. Avan and Crimbo. That's two doolies. That's a Quaddies. Here we are. Tabson and the Crimbo man. Well, the dual Berettas get stuck in. Fresh group, a scoop of the Crimbo. The kicker wants nought to do with it. Back he goes. And then forward he goes. Seesaw that sees no one. Crimbo waits. All the commitment. And Tabson gets impatient. Oh, this flash is ready to go. Jay might even get caught throwing it. Favon, meanwhile, has got his duelies ready. Crimbo wins his fight. And now Favon activates. And he's dead. Fame hits the headshot. Follows up to Pit as well. This guy on the front line is a real nuisance for Big. He ended that last map. He starts this one strong. Bomb planted deep in the site. And outside is set up in the post. Yeah, two up through the short side, but Jame is here, ready and waiting to backstab. His teammates in pit only need to stay alive. They don't even really need to fight for short. Jame should have them in the bag. They are a little deeper oh. than outsiders were ready oh. for here, but Fame and Jame keeping it in check. It's the Jame Fame round here. Tabson 1v2 and looking for the pit man. Oh, now ready for a balcony player. Doesn't know where to look. Oh. And Fame will take his head off. Beautiful pistol round from Fame. Four kills across it. And this guy proven he might just be one to keep an eye on a potential yeah. star of the outside of the squad. Right now, certainly is famous Jameis, mate. He is, uh, yeah, straight out of Harry Potter. He's here. Casting some wicked wizardry on this A site. Dirty little apps pop with a double B. And again, a five on three for Big that comes Crimbo crumbling down. And, you know, back in his time in K23, Fame was not someone you could sleep on at all. He was definitely one of the main powerhouses of that squad. I think it really was him and Norbert. So, uh, yeah, you know, getting this kind of form out of the guy is very, very promising that James been able to kind of unlock that. Yeah, right now it's kind of hard to get power in your houses, but bigger foot the bill and they forced up with pistols. A couple of Sungs as well in Favon and Searson. That is one gnarly setup. Keto needs to not die at long so they don't get backstabbed, but outsiders will take top mid with that long smoke. Exactly what big one. They want this short commit. The bomb is still sat back at B though and big. Ooh, they're going for a bit of a rotation here. It's the right call for now. We know how flip-floppy these T-sides can be. They can change their mind in an instant as Kicker takes more space at that b site. It looks like they want to arch-wrap. Tabson pushed back into the smoke. Ooh, Norbert flashed off as well. Assaulting utility for big. Everyone's here, but outsiders are running back to B. Yeah, and a free B bomb site means that Flit, just by being here, just by keeping yeah. these guys trapped in A, outsiders have got the round guaranteed. One Mac 10 or two MP9s? What's better? Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, the Mac 10, it's a good start. Oh, it's wow. a really nice finish. Mac 10 better. There's the official tech. Definitely looking like a threat right now. Obviously, we still are unsure of the level that MIBR and G2 are bringing in. We'll find exactly that out later as our last BO3 of the day. But outsiders on the taste test are coming up sweet. What a stack. Big sandbag okay. in the what's, back of Ruiz. What's, what's Crimbo doing? What's that little move? Huh? Sorry, mate. No room for you, actually. Uh, yeah, get in the back. Queue up. Lol, everyone else gets to live, apart from Crimbo. Oh, now you're kind of... Now they can see, yeah? Uh, yeah, this is... I want to see this get mollied, you know? But I don't know how that would happen. Or why. This is going to be weird. I Yeah, outsiders, if they take B, <laughs> they're going to find out the okay, hard way. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever happens here, it's going to be an entertaining round. Welcome to God B's Church of Counter-Strike. Everyone's in attendance. Everyone's in attendance for big. This is how they do their team meetings. And outsiders are going to disrupt it eventually. All right, Bravo team's moving out. Here they come. We've got our best men on the job. Run boost? We, we're prepared to deal with the 
security threat. Here we go. We're all just going to run at them. It's a tried and tested method. Oh, oh and they all die in a blaze of gory. It's 3-0 and oh for the Outsiders. The Jane Fame combo back again. The one-two punch of these rifles. And yeah, big trifle with... Not going to get much done in that round as we get into gun rounds now for big. And they're going to start stronger than last map. I like that suggestion on the desk uh, to, to get... Uh, Mantu over Searson. Yeah, obviously Searson is a beast when he's on it, but yeah, this this opener for the game wasn't uh, wasn't great. Mantu does seem like an upgrade. If we were to go back a few years, you know, where's Keeve? What's Keeve at? I know he's at the gym. What else is he doing? Anyone remember yeah, Keeve? Yeah, Keeve don't. Keeve's so so you know wide and muscular. He don't he don't fit in the uh, the playing booths anymore. He's hench. Yeah. Guy's juiced. Kicker yeah, walking yeah. up the top Ooh. of Banana. Gonna win that fight early to Tapson. Sometimes one or two kills in the right place. That can win you a round. That can force a save. Crimbo over at the coffins. Good for the first, but traded immediately after. And so outsiders have got control of B. I'm not gonna get this bomb down. If Keto doesn't connect the spam, then it will just be a save here. Out of the big squad, and it's already looking like that, Hugo. They're just gonna try and get out of there and hold on to these guns. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Brutal BX second. Kick at the front. No surprise after what we saw from that last game. He was decking fools. Big. It's not going to get any easier, especially on a map where a couple of kills in the right place can force a save like this. Dust 2 was bad enough. They were already attempting retakes that did feel impossible. But now at least they accept that they have to hold on to what little they've got. Nate's getting shuffled out. And a fourth round found. Could this be just as dominant as the last? Big fans hope not. Ouch. Dinner is served. Scrawny little things. Just feathers and bones. I know that feeling. Oh. It didn't look like a well-received loss, if I'm being uh, honest. Not at all. Fame's 8-0. Yeah, you know, Fame's, fame's kind of cracked. Kind of cracked. I think we're going to have a couple more Fame fans by the end of this group. Here he is. 8-0, no. but still wanting to take opening fights. Eventually, he goes one step too far. Oh, uh, oh my goodness. That's calculated. It's juicy. It's it is calculated. a calculated Molotov. They have no idea. Oh, Why yeah. would you check this? It just got mollied. Oh, oh but what? Norbert. Norbert will. That's unreasonable. That's, I mean, that was a perfect setup to have five in there. A, a set <laughs> molly for big that they knew wouldn't tick him. And still he gets cleared. I just heard side. someone in the other room go, no way. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> 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 That's funny. Big fans. Now we need big plans. Moto smokes down. Which side the big play? Keto's stuck in the sight. Searson will join him here with the orb, but Molly's into the pit. Searson's going to force fights. He will hit his shot. Oh, it's a messy spray. Kicking gets it over the line, though. Aggression down B, and they're going to go back for it, but they need to fight through Crimbo first. He now knows they're coming back his way. That call has been made. He's patient, oh! but that's a beautiful headshot. Oh! Dinged doesn't matter. Kicker hits the kill. He is ferocious today. Yeah, don't mess with Kicker when he's had his greens. Look at this rotate now. It's going to get here, but already smoked off. Keto is once again hoping he can find something on a bit of smoke spam, maybe. Instead, going to take it quiet, low and slow around the ruins. Flit still it's over slow, A, ready yeah. to come in on a very grand backstab, but this does rely on his teammates staying alive. I mean, yeah, even if they try and save, Sism might try and leave if Keto dies here. He won't. Now the go is on. Now they're going to commit. No smoke for the bomb. How would you be ready for this? Yeah, backstab's a freebie. Bomb now has to be tapped by Keto, forcing that banana fight. He's going to look to CT spawn flit. 
is kind of on his own right now, but his teammate's not falling for it. They've heard the first steps. Keto with another tap. James has to check it. Keto, oh, only a jiggle. Man. Bomb nade in. Keto wins his fight, but there's simply no time. Unless he were to stick the bomb immediately, he will not. He will get all the kills, but none of the glory. Five rounds, and he is dead to that new explosion. No chance. Yeah, mate, you know, a 1v2, when you look at who's alive, you've got Flit being an absolute freak with the A-Rap. <laughs> like, that's already concerning enough. And then you hold tab, you look at the other guy, you go, oh, great, it's Jame. He's not even going to try and fight me. He's just going to play for the information at Banana. And that's exactly what he did. Never really hard committed to an engagement until the round felt safe enough that they'd pretty much locked it into time. And so just not facing there didn't give Keto the option to Ooh. win that one. I saw the orb on the cross, heard it as well. See, it's a, it's a big buy for a round like this. He would have lent to save it, but it was denied. Hefty investment that has to prove its worth in this round because it's surrounded by very little but utility for big. <laughs> All of it getting shuffled over. Krimbo's going to play the aggressor at B, set up by Tabson in the site. Searson on first contact. Maybe they double nade. Just one for now. Very deep, but outside is only now entering that B side. This body will force some respect, but they will stay on the top. He keeps all this info that no one's crossed back behind the sandbags. The danger is going past this AWP. Even if outside is flashes, this might just hit that timing shot. It was a nice setup out of outsiders. They were ready for re aggro into top banana. When they're not giving it, now they do just want to go. Searson holding this deep old angle here. He needs to hit this first shot. Oh, oh there blinded. It is. He will lock it in. Now retreating and going through the motions. What There's a, a lot of oranges players. There's a lot of bodies oh. here, and they're all leaving him back. Oh. Tapson, where did that come from? Three in the blink of an eye off the back of the 5-7, and that might be the round. Flit too far away on another one of these a lurks. Cannot win this. Will go hunting, but comes up short, and so Dude. big run away with a pistol round around that orb. That feels good. At the end of the first map, there was a double uh, set up in mid, and Tapson killed one of them. It was a kick, like, dying for the cause. And Tapson went to pick up the pistol and then got killed by the second man. That same thing just happened to outsiders. They get a double entry, they go to grab the pistol, and then who's there hiding it? Second orange is Tapson. Pops heads, three dead in a blink of an eye. And that's a crazy round to win. Nice save for Searson on the fist bump as well. But yeah, that's uh, it's a cheeky round out of big. That's why they bought the orb and didn't need to get more than one though. Set up Tapson for the round. And now outside as they've had enough of waiting, they're gonna go running it down. A quick one. Searson gets out along, can rescope back up on the corner. Norman with a bomb and it's dropped. Not the bomb, brother, it's a bit further back on fame. But that's now a lot of real estate gained, but all of the pain received by outsiders. Three kills off this orb. Fame essentially one on five. James is still just barely out of t sport and he's dead as well. So just this late captain with a pistol is big. Off the back of an eco win, looked to take a flawless round. Yeah, James would settle for making it a little more costly, right? If he can somehow milk a kill or two out of this, that's not too bad all of a sudden. He's retrieved the AK up in the apartments, and now he waits. He's going to wait till they become impatient enough, and they give him the kill Ooh. eventually. <laughs> Caught crossing back after the first, but, you know, at least forcing a tiny bit more of a reinvestment out of big, just going to keep him that much more modest. And all the ways to get your second round there, you're very, very glad it's a four alive round if you're the big squad. Getting out with that AWP in tow. Keeping a lot of money in these bank accounts, that's gonna be important in the long run. Also very, very reassuring to have a nice round, a nice sequence there out of Searson. Already outdoing his performance over on Dust2, I'm pretty sure. Certainly seems that way. Oh, they're taking banana, but they don't know. Kiko already got tucked in. He's got two kills on a plate. What a spray. This guy's been doing his warm up today. 
That's a lovely save. Third player here, though. Crimbo will kick up, be ready for it. Well, they fell for it last time, didn't they? They fell for the triple B. That won't be a mistake. Kicker makes twice. They will rotate out. Crimbo makes a gamble. Moving back to that A site. Actually just grabs Util and Spawn. He can re-molly, re-smoke this B area. Outsiders have a bounty of Util at their feet as well. Kicker. Gets that top B space. Forces a rotate. All the sound being heard as outsiders flash their way up car. Dude, it's wild. They've got two mollies dropped at Banana. They could blanket this B site in just a layer of fire. Oh. Norbert, he is blanketed oh, something guys, in uh, a big, layer big of mollied mid. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, at least one A, guys. They mollied mid. So here we go. Leaning back into the B play now. They are going to use all these mollies. I uh -oh. love it, man. Very uh -oh. resourceful. Whoa. In they come. Oh, it's hot. Loads of fire rains down upon the B site. The Searson strikes first. Back of the site, locked at dark. One man's made it past all the way in a ruins. Flit on a bit of a lurk here. I have no idea oh, that someone's made play. it by. They've got no clue. Over at Newbox, he could go looking for this kill. He sees the molly's been smoked. Yeah. That's a flip delivers it. Searson, ooh, oh, getting no. run down, and Flip finds them both, uprooting the B-hole. That's the round right there. What a sick rap. And I love that even though he gets in that position outside, they still jiggle a little bit. They still fire off some shots. It really sells it for big. They, they think they're going to get fought. And Searson with the orb, he fired one off to get that deep player, but then couldn't cock the bolt back in time to find Flit. He knew he was going to get chased. Perfect round out of outsiders. After this double opener again from Kicker, just been demolishing the B defense. so scary isn't it like having all these players that are willing to to throw themselves into opening fights for big this must feel like they're facing an entirely different outsiders to anything they've ever faced before this is uh this is very exciting to watch kicker having a field day fame as well these two as a kind of entry duo have been borderline unstoppable and it's only in rounds where you've actually dealt with their attempts at getting the opener that you've gone on to have any sort of success. So these fights for top banana control are weighted very, very heavily right now. Big falling back into a much more passive B setup. They're, they're kind of over fighting for this top banana control. Throwing in this oh. retake util. Jay might have been blinded, but he still drops Tabson in CT. From bad to worse for big, now a man down. And really nothing gained for it. It's not like that was some sort of info gathered off the back of it. There's so much time left that outsiders can just sit back in the 5v4 and nullify the smidgen of info that you have, which is the AWP was banana. It looked like big were going to make a gamble, eh? And that would have been the right move, but now they've fallen for this fake exec. Two men throwing a full volley towards B. Searson, he's still here. He could catch them lurking up long. It was going to be an A play. Now they can wrap Arch. I mean, they have so much space and all of those B players' attention on the site. Norbert, though, catches that kill as Searson re-aggresses. And now they've got Favon trapped in the pit. They hear his smoke. 30 seconds to go. He needs a multi-kill of mad proportions. And he won't even get the first. Grimbo has rotated round, but if they go back to B, that is just insulting. 20 seconds, they got to grab the bomb quick, and they will just commit with what they already have. This A site, Grimbo's even doubting it yet. Back to B, he goes, and the plant allowed for Flit. Grimbo just trying to save now. But James has not moved a muscle since that opening kill onto Tabson. If outsiders feel confident, they can go searching. Oh, now they know. Jane runs away. <laughs> he wants that off. He goes, nope, we're playing our own money. Economy long game. Rears his head again as outsiders take a seventh round. This T side is getting out of control, Harry. Yeah, it's already a blinding start, you know, and uh, it's so rough because even if, like, even if from this point onwards, B 
they go on to win kind of every remaining round, it still doesn't give you a, a tremendous deal of confidence. A seven round T side so early on is is uh, is mental for the uh, the outsider squad, and they're in a position where it just keeps getting more lucrative the more you stay winning. Yeah. There's nothing worse than getting hard cleared on that boost like that by Kicker. Not only is that the first time Big have done that boost, but Kicker. Buster obviously recently removed from the team. But at least the two man start up. Still playing bomb sites together on T sides. Jamie Kicker has just been working his B position over and over again. Jamie going to give it up. Leave it to Kicker, who has been very successful. Snaps got to smoke that molly. Again, it's a triple B. Keto's holding a flash for the cool, but outsiders, while well, they're throwing util, they're in no hurry to commit here. They're still all the way back, knowing that these pistols might get aggressive. That flash was really good. But double sandbag setup. Do Big really want to keep this? Oh, it's so hard for Big to pick right here. You know, nothing nothing means anything right now. You've been conditioned that, you know, this util at Banana might mean a B hit, so that kept three players there earlier, but now there's no noise on the back of it. That also doesn't guarantee it's a fake with how outsiders play. So Big Ooh, are just kind of sticking to their guns. They They've traded sides in the smoke. Favin's going to win that first fight. Searson goes Hello. unaccounted for. Wow. 250 on a tear, and Searson... Looking to win the whole enchilada here. James left saving. 1v4's not happening. And so with a P250 and a little bit of trickery, Big run away with that one. Yeah, Team Kill helps out in there as well, but I, that was a lock-in for, for Big with that position. Baited to the back of the bomb site, and Searson crouched on cold. We love that for him. And Tapson even, you know, Tapson, Big have three rounds. One of them is Tapson with a 5-7 getting three kills. And one of them is Searson essentially doing the same thing on the other side of the map. That felt like all Big could rely on, and I say that tenuously, on that first map, right? Big won a fair amount of Ecos on Dust 2, but they could never string streaks of rifle rounds together. Sure, it's a great round. It's a great confidence boost. It's big for the bank account. But in terms of reproducible rounds, there's not much there for big. They're going to need a, a big comeback off the back of that one eco win. They smoke Ooh. deep banana like they want a challenge for this. Now, Kicker does lie in wait. This guy has been the multi-kill king of banana. Flashing his escape. He's going to cross to logs. Tucked on down, tab some weights on the other side. Oh, they're right there. And Fame's here to lend a helping hand Hello. as well. Tabson up into the crosshair. Still two more to challenge from Top Banana. They're lobbing in Util. Oh dear. Trying to make their lives any easier. It is this entry duo, though, of Kicker and Fame waiting on the other side. And I imagine they're kind of glad if you want to fight them here. This has been their bread and butter, winning these Top Banana fights and having that lead to success for the Outsiders. Boosting up. I don't know about the sandbags play yet. Kicket's going to get this info. Crimbo on the angle. Wins the initial fight. Can't go any further, but Keto playing the trade game has kept this even in the 3v3. Great setup there for Big. They needed that. They needed the one for one. Or two for one, rather. Can get out there. Still with a man in the sight, but no util in the round for Big. An HE and spawn of little value in this position. Maybe you could be thrown on the bomb plant. Citizen's gonna grab it. Keto's hiding out. The more time he can buy, the better. 20 seconds, Nate's too early. Outsiders crossing in last second they can, and they burn out Keto as well. Another double molly exec. They almost wow. get spammed off the plant, but Jame fires back through the smoke, and sometimes luck just goes the other way. Citizen's pushed out of the round, and Favon forced to save. What an unfortunate situation for Big. They did what they had to. They traded out nicely. But a perfect execute late in the round for outsiders with 15 seconds. No room for error and no error made.
Yeah, I find myself hoping that Searson gets to be leaning spawn, really. I feel like having that AWP try to deny some of this early control could be nice. You know, maybe like tee it up with the Fury one-way smoke. Is a little risky because it's scary. It's like when you're lobbing that util, you you need that pick, you need that opening. You've kind of revealed your trump card. This is the best B spawn he's had, but isn't going to take it. Instead, they're going to dedicate more resources over here towards A. So this has got to mean aggression, Ooh. and yeah, that's going to be the answer, right? They try to go through an all mid, but James seen it. His teammates meant to be ready for this norm, but only with a Mac 10. Gets that trade. Second man makes it out. James right here, oh, fighting Keto, and he wins it. He got lost there, he thought he ducked back down under. Oh, from above, Norbert's back 10 from range falls as well. That was the bomb. Yeah, a little awkward. Gets a bit loosey-goosey here. How, how is Kicker here? Kicker is confused about what side he's playing on right now. <laughs> they don't even have Guys, the they're not coming B. Wait, so hang I'm on. sorry. And now Searson's like, okay, my one job, just hold B, nice and easy. He's aware they could have hit some weird timings, but he's kind of held it long enough that he's at the point where now he's thinking, nah, they haven't timed me, surely. Theory crafting a danger here. If Searson doesn't go back in, doesn't clear the site. He could drop the bomb. He could drop the bomb. There's mm. no smokes and he's left. Don't worry. Well, he's still here. There's no smokes. There's only flashes and a nade to make this cross happen. And outside is just so paranoid that there's still aggression in this round. There's not Crimbo. It's gone all the way back to Graveyard. Oh, but man, Kicker's B-hole, dude, just... Yeah, I mean, outside is about to walk <laughs> into Kicker. That's scary, you know. He's got a great position to multi-kill. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't truly forget what half he's on. He's going to throw flashes for spawn. Perfect to get this orb out of the picture. Oh, Searson, I don't think we'll be blinded. Ooh. Yeah, he nails that shot. That's the bomb tumbling away, but it did make it to the other side. As far as Searson's aware, they can't cross and plant, but they're already in. kicker has been here since the round started. And so now Big have got to retake 2v2. One player unaccounted for. The other, it's an educated guess that he's stuck banana, and that smoke's going to keep it that way. Jay might have to come through this and play ahead of it. Looking like he wants to swing for a CT oh, peak. They've got you oh! That was almost the lineup. Searson, 1v1. Kicker left to beat. Playing around the coffin. Searson might only have one shot at this. And on the swing from the smoke, Kicker steals the round away. Another for this T side from the outsiders. And it's the man that B belonged to for the longest time to walk that over the line. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sisson knew there was some something going on there, right, with the, with the entry from Kicker at Banana. I think he knew that he was in the site the whole time, just didn't want to risk throwing away that orb. Picked the perfect position to get this cross shot, but of course the bot makes it, and that's all that matters. Kicker capitalizes, and he has been uh, an incredible player this series. MVP, it's... He's never going to pay for you a drink. Norbert. Moving up mid. Big flashing down B. Boost up on the top. Norbert smoke spams Keaton. Now that's just not fair. Luckily enough, Fame will get traded, at least at the B site. Crimbo's already begun a rotation. Two rifles. They need to be in the right place. Oh, oh. Famine's been spotted. He's been seen. And he does a lot of damage, but it's only the one kill. Citizen spot. Tucked in the sight. Searson's got to do it Hello. again. P250 in a dream. Don't say he does it twice in one game. Flip. Wow. We'll get ahead of it. Thank goodness, Tabson. Now alone, he's also got a P250 in a dream, but it didn't work out so well for the last guy with that criteria. Gun retrieved. Tabson playing around this smoke, going up, going over, looking for a 1v1. Flip. Oh, walking the smoke, Man. now past Tabson, should have this one locked <gasps> in, but Tabson's flicked back. Oh, oh he no! got stuck! Jane got stuck! <laughs> and that's for uh -oh. the big as Tabson, the man at the helm, gets it over the line in the 1v2. If Jane didn't jump, he probably wins that round. He just goes back through the door, but he hit his head on the doorway, Harry. Bit of a concussion for Jane. And a discussion for outsiders, yo, let's tie, let's not throw them away next time. Flit had the perfect spot in that smoke bit. He just wanted to kill, and Tabson was very patient. Wow, what a save from the captain of Big. Needed it now.
to keep this game competitive, or at least to make it competitive, because right now it's been nothing of the side is the half of dreams for outsiders, and there's still room for more. I always love just looking at the outsiders, like, economy sheet, through lack of a better word. You know, it's like... Uh... Jay really is the kind of guy who leaves right as, his, as it's his turn to buy a round. You know, like, that, that's the kind of... I'm talking like at a bar or whatever, not in the server. Yeah. You know, he always he has a bit of extra money. He gets them for free. No, exactly. Never, never bought an Uber, never done any of that. Always has extra cash floating around. He's got two and a half K. His teammates, Ooh. not so fortunate. They're fully bought into this one, but already a man down. Already a tag on an orbit. Not oh, a good start. Dead. And the nade's going to seal the deal on that. No, but dead. The bomb tumbling away. And Jane left up alone. All that's left to do is die. So big trying to stumble back to their feet here. Trying to put up a six round half after all. And that last matchup between these squads where we had Inferno take place, this was the exact score line that, that went down. A 9-6 half for Outsiders on the T side. Wasn't enough for Big to close it out last time. It would have to be a different story on the repeat. And not the half that you want six rounds on either. They still have to believe, but at least they've got these low economy rounds back to back to back for Outsiders. Now just tech nines with Jame on an AK. Searson, oh man, they've silent boosted. He doesn't know. Oh, James Barrel gives him away. And Searson finds that kill. Now outsiders might just go hunting for that gun. Norbert's found it. Gonna look for some revenge in middle. I don't really know what's soured them to the B play in these last couple of rounds. Yeah, true. They were finding so much success there. That gun's now lost in top middle. Not really any retrieving. Oh, flit with the long arms. Never mind, I take it back. Damn, homie got 10 feet on the arm reach. Look at that. Wingspan like a bird. And so now he's got an AK. Yeah, B's pretty blatant at this point. It's not much of a question for Big. I'm gonna shuffle a third player over. Yeah, doesn't matter. This should be theirs. This should be a six at the end of the half. Unless someone goes absolutely ham for outsiders. Contact play with no smoke for spawn. Out goes the flash. Keto not blind. Tapson will help out. Grimbo's also here to fire off from afar. And with no smoke, this one is pretty difficult to break through. They burn or they find Tapson. Burn out. Blake wins a fight. Teammate sets him up for a second headshot. And outsiders can't win this round. Big can't afford to lose it. 2v2. Great grenade. It won't stop a plan. Further damage found. Kicker takes the AK. But he's got to win the round. Oh, they're a little loud on the exchange. And now Fabin knows. Oh. That's the AK removed. Flit. He decided to gift it over, but it's not served them well. The gift is returned to sender as Big find a sick to close out this first half of... Right, he is top of the entire server at 16 and 10, but it's his merry men who have gone quiet, gone cold in map two, and Big might be knocked out as such if they don't find this pistol round. Nice double nade, but James, of course, hops over it, and he even goes back to Boiler. Doesn't want to get caught by this roster apartments. Can't pick him out of the sky, but at least outsiders know exactly what's coming. going down. They coming all right. They coming to get you. Fame. Ooh, dear. There's one. Any more from the man inside of the site? They're all trapped in the pit right now. It's a little, uh, it's a little cage filled with big players. Ooh, and here they come out of the oh, cage, but not wow. feeling just fine. They've been tapped out of the round, and now Norbert is even holding for this late flank through the apartments. Just Searson left, top of the server right now, as you say so, and he's really got to drive that one home if he wants to win this clutch. Taps out the first man. There's a repeat ready for long kicker on this angle, and he'll win that fight, laying the, uh, the, the worries to rest. Double digits now for the outsiders. And if they're able to find the conversions, they would be teed up very, very similar to how they were on Dust 2 in a power position where they can just, you know, keep big on the back foot long enough to grind out a win here. Yeah, this is a talent-filled team right now. I feel like you can always, you can rely on anyone to, to step up in a moment for outsiders. There's no weak link. There's no, you know, in-game leader who can't frag or support player who, who goes quiet and in game. Flit and Norbert on the A site. Triple B off the back. 
loads of util down banana to take control big just avoid it they run a muck in middle flash does blind him though it's not got an idea and they're very split one by one up into the short side flit the flash fades on him and so he can find his frag kicker has even aggressed down b for one of his own and there's no exit here there's no entry for big they think they have room on long but spawn is contained by jame and they go walking into an off angle to end the round 11 to 6 and outsiders looking ludicrous right now on to the second half. It's going to force a full eco out of big. And then they've got to play the guns 12 6 down. Half of outsiders. Rough spot to be in. Searson's even 4 0 on those opening duels. I mean, he really wasn't the problem. Peace on CT side did all he could. Saw Jame had a little black pearl. I think it was, was it Talon or Karan? But I, I didn't actually, I was looking at the pattern. Makes a lot of sense for this guy. Kind of a subtle look, but still one of the rarer ones. I said that kind of encompasses Jame quite nicely. Does he bring the curse with it as well? Curse of the black pearl, of course. Little Pirates of the Caribbean reference on that. We love it. Jame. Will he be the ruler of Tortuga fame? Dead at Banana and Kicker trying to hold the line. Instead, it's just shell shock down Banana. Jame will finish Krimbo and Favon 4. They already know where he is. <laughs> Was that like a really tenuous link into yeah, the Tortuga Portuguese? means turtle and yeah. so shell, turtles have shells, shell shocked because they were getting shot. Yeah. You know, it really went down. No, that's good. You know. And for once, actually, I think that joke justified a tiny bit of explanation. Yeah, that one was maybe too high IQ for the average person to understand. You have to be very high IQ to listen to our cast. Yeah, I that think is that's true. something that we is, can all agree yeah, on. Definitely. And so if you don't like <laughs> us, you're probably what stupid. What does that say about you? <laughs> Right, of so self, uh, <laughs> yeah, just building up that ego, Harry. <laughs> Haven't got enough of it these days. Right back into this, though, Hugo. Indeed. Big now with the bite. Searson donning the AWP as well from the get go. Maybe even a clash at Banana, as it so happens. Searson scoped up on mid instead, but James got his here, rip roaring and ready to go. It's a solo A hold out of the gate for the outsiders. He's not going to have a lot more troubles to find these picks, especially with the setups we're seeing already out of outsiders. Straight into a gun round, very safe. Well, I say that, Kicker's going to regress with utility. Molly, no, will trap them. Oh, Tabson goes in front, and he won't last long. Kicker wins that fight, and he knows there's more coming. Double nade, and Favon still wins that fight, but won't last much longer. Fame is blinded, chooses to commit rather than to quit, and he's stuck out behind the sandbags. Now on a bit of an island, Fame dead immediately. Clean shot for Keto, and suddenly the B site, it's yours, big. Just believe, have that bit of faith. They're gonna start to cross over these murky waters. The CT, the only kind of unknown, scary part of this. Outsiders are waiting right on the other side, and they might even try to employ this boost. It looks like they're both interested in the idea, but they're gonna delay it for a moment. Smoking off the top of Banana, nice touch. It's given them a 2v2 for the site control. Searson oh, tries to walk saved. the smoke, and it was never spotted by Flit. So Norbert in real danger of getting blindsided, oh but he is ready, is prepared. A 2v2 now, Jame even making his way over. Norbert. He's actually been able to get Jame interested in a 2v2 retake. It's never <laughs> happened before. Free smoke is big as well. Keto doesn't need to face here, but he will be the guy trying to stop the plant. He just got spammed out. Dink down to 10 health. He finishes Jame off. Norbert checking the back of the site. Now he knows Keto is stuck out and he gets uh, cleared. Norbert now 1v1. Won't even tap the bomb. James called for the save and Norbert will oblige. Oh, oh this shot. Oh, he yeah. might die to the bomb here. Oh, oh, they're all dead. It wasn't worth it.
Did James Wallbang key to back box or did Norbert just dink him on a jiggle? I didn't catch. I think it was the latter. But even so, miss smoke back into B anyway. So that was a nice big gap. For Ke uh, not Keto, for the banana pie to run back through. Nice stalling from Keto. Eventually, he just you know runs out of uh, time. Outsiders do have their money broken if this round doesn't go their way. James at least got this AWP, and he might have to, he might feel a bit of pressure to get involved with it early. He scoped up down mid. Oh, he saw Searson's head, and Searson looked right back at the beast in top middle, and they both conceded the angle. Absen goes for the little jump peak, gets the info that that AWP is no longer posted, and so they have a little bit more freedom in mid. Right now, it feels like outsiders have got the read on this. They are poised four and A with Jame holding the apartments. It feels like they know this is an apps drop long yeah. before this became an apps drop for big. Flash could still be everything though, Jame. Oh, just turns away at the right time. Norbert, he's got to trade his teammates out and dropped on his head. Goomba stopped his flick in the pit. Krimba wins two fights and Jame oh. just finds that angle on the flick back up. More he's along. still getting wrapped though. If he backs through the smoke, he's a dead man. Sisson sees something. Kick it now, using Sisson's position against him. They don't clear what? the smoke. What? He doesn't. What? Why do <laughs> those scopes have instead? Sisson just tried to belly rub, kick it in the back of the bomb site and Fame taps out of player range, but he can't win the round. It's all Searson was invisible for Dust 2. What a but what it's a incredible for the coaster. second. What a roller coaster of a round. Why was Searson so close to kicker? What was happening there? I, I, what was I, happening I, there? I, I don't know. Searson was backing into his corner like damn, I swear it was Oh, we had nades. Oh, righty -o, uh, righty -o. Gotta clear your corners. Bloody hell, that almost got a little bit concerning there. Look, God beat borderline freeze no. frames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Give me them, them Gobby reactions. Flip it and ship it. How big? In for a penny, in for a pound. They've got eight rounds. And pushed outsiders onto an economical. The exec off of spawn here for big. In come the smokes. And in comes the flank. Norbert. Right behind. They go bursting through Mac 10. Tears through a double kill. And with that comes the round. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's an insta date from the Mac 10. From the other side of the universe there, courtesy of Tabson. And now he's hopping, he's skipping, he's jumping his way to $1,200 farmed up on the back of that SMG. Okay, big. Okay, big. I see. I see what you're trying to do. I see that Searson's built up all his energy for this map. I see Tabson coming alive. Starting to get a bit of faith here, maybe. Don't worry, no, but only an eco. Guns are back out now. And let's see how swift the vengeance will be, or if Big can skyrocket to double digits and suddenly make this game winnable after all. It never truly felt like it. For the first time, the tides are changing. Fast round, but they don't clear boiler, and Norbert's able to get out with one, only one. Damage to Keto, but you'll notice no one's in the bomb site. Flit takes the long side of the moto smoke and leaves it up to a retake instead. Big are running wild right now, and they've realized they have all this space for free. Still need to clear the cold block box, but once they do, they know that this is a four on four post plant, a very weird position to be in, and without a kit, one that outsiders might not even go for. It's all going to depend on that first fight. Yeah, definitely. You know, you're all here. You may as well see if they overextend, if they yeah. give you anything, but with nothing getting offered over, outsiders are just going to play a numbers Damn. game on this one. Back out and save. Go again in the next with the, with the same sort of buy. Big on to double digits on the T side. They are starting to make this comeback happen. We have to really take note of it now. They take their fourth in a row. This is weird. 
so surprised they don't go for it. Partly is because of the uh, the lack of kit, the lack of util, and they realized the big had set up, but they were so fast on the flank there. You would have liked to at least see Flit fighting for that round if the, the you know, destination was always going to be a save there for outsiders, but he decided to give it up to play the game with his team. And leaves everyone out of the round. Big onto double digits. Jane going to flash a mid-fight. Oh, he scared Searson off for a second. Ooh. And a little wiggle. But <laughs> Searson doesn't give him more. That is terrifying. James fast, but he's not going to connect it. Whack-a-mole down mid. Deep banana taken for the outsiders. And so even though these flashes have gone in, outsiders aren't going to fall for it. They know that banana's empty. They know they've got all this real estate. And that right now, Big's hands are somewhat tied into an A play. They're going to set Jame up on the half wall. Might see Fame look to make a move soon. If he does hang around, Big look like they do want to retake Banana before they're decided on where this round ends up. You can't really have outsiders with all this control. You're assuming that they've lent A fairly heavily. Searson's holding for this boost. Kicker in the close corner. Check. Wow. Tabson and Fabin get a kill in tandem. That's no. two quick B picks. And Fame even made noise at the sandbags. They know about him. Oh, he's going to try mind. and get the orb. Just getting out of there after picking that up. Smoked off, trying to play ahead of it, trying to fight this. Outsiders have pulled everyone around to B. 25 seconds, and that's the bomb going in first. At this point, Big might have no choice but to carry on. Going into uh -oh. the stack, they've got to commit into a three-man hold. They deal with Norbert, but Fame and Flit back at the site. One kill in the right place. Could take oh. you the round, but they're getting dealt with. Flit was unaccounted for. Oh. Flit was unaccounted for! And there's all the kills. So much yes. time, and Flit wins the round. One man! And does it all 13 for the outsiders and flit with maybe play of the tournament so far that's unbelievable oh my goodness what a freakish play harry what a play his teammate doesn't hit a single shot from new box but that was the last thing big were expecting not only all five players playing b that round but flit hiding out at the back look at the reaction Oh my goodness, that was off the back of a four round streak for Big. They were waking back up, they were running some fast rounds. Outsiders just sucked the life out of them, and now they're full of gumption. Down Banana, kick it and fame, find two kills instantly. And Outsiders, there was a bit of a comeback for a second there, but they put a lid on it, thanks to Flit. What on earth? How do you play on after that if round? If that is suddenly the second win, which really it should be, like this could this could be a very horrific way for it all to end. How how do they not pause? How do they decide? Let's just play on. Shaking, quaking in their boots, big shimmy up the short side. Keto trying to make something happen, but three in the sight again, and now that info has been gained. Big ones more, like, great. We've fallen into the pit. We're stuck playing into A, and we know that everyone's here. How do we keep getting in these situations? Nade it out. Crimbo falls. Searson left in this one, 1v4. He's going to need an equally impossible round to go his way. Flitz managed it once already. Searson's got to do it with half the time quarter of the opportunity there's the first kicker on the receiving end the orb now knowing about that molly's going to displace these site players see us and that was a chance but they're all sailing past him now 14 for outsiders and the money starting to drip dry for big at the worst possible time it's not often that it feels like a round has just won the game but like that's that that kills any any team no matter the mental i don't know how you're meant to stay in a match when flit does something like that you call it player of the tournament a, a not up for debate not at all unbelievable play i'm still shell-shocked Talking about their next rifle round, while well, first they have to rifle through their pockets for pennies. Pistols out. Outsiders in with a chance.
I mean, Big normally find a way to make these rounds way more interesting than they should be. But so often it hinges on winning that, that oh-so-important opening duel, right? Something to throw outsiders into a bit of a panic. We need one of these deagles to open up this round. And if they do, they can look to have it just spiral into craziness. They'll thrive in that chaos. Making it all the way up the long side, going to try and come through this smoke. But with Flit securing the early 5v4, I would like to believe that's Look a good bit of the danger dealt with. They're going to try and walk CT. King oh. Kurt will get knocked out. And so suddenly, a route, a path has opened up to wrap this B site. Fame's here alone, and they are coming his way. I don't want to commit. They're going back. Krimpo's heard them push down mid. He's had yeah. two out of three players. One of them was walking. Norbert never made a step, but these other two players have run down to flank Banana. It seemed like the obvious play, but big uh, outsiders didn't know that Big had a man inside the apartments the entire time. And now Norbert might get backstabbed by <gasps> that man. The one who got all the oh. info has just got the kill that okay. opens up the A site. There's legs on this round after all, Big. Outsiders are very, very far removed. Every angle's uncertain. Normally, they would save here. It's the fact it's an eco that might entice them to go for it, but they need the opener, and James gonna provide it. 3v3 now. Two up through middle, one oh, wrapping. Miss. This oh. fight decides a hell of a lot, and with Fabin winning it out, that should just yeah. be the save. Outsiders have to let this one go, as Big pick it up with Deegs. Dude, two Deagles, three Glocks, nothing, nothing else for Big, they win it. That is a robbery, a complete robbery, and it's all off the back of Crimbo's comms as well. He hears that aggression down short. He knows outsiders have fallen for it after a CT pick comes in. It seems like a B flank. It was a B flank until Crimbo calls it back, and big, they win an eco round out of nowhere. Unreal round. Keeping big in this game, forcing them not to play for overtime. Instead, off the back of this opening D that you said we needed, Big have lived to fight another round. That's a, that's a rough one. That is a really, really rough way to have, you know, your best chance to just get onto map point stripped away from you. Now you kind of have to grind that out if you're outsiders. They had the easy route. I'm going to take it the hard way. Oh, yeah, give it up, Fabin. Molly's, nades, you name it, they got it. He's flashing their way down bottom B. Kicker gets tucked in in the corner. They want to leave him there. They can rotate out. James still supporting with the AWP, though. It's going to allow Fame to set up on A, but if Big goes soon, they're going to beat them to the punch. They're going to stop outsiders from getting this man in the sight. A motor smoke could be the difference between Big and a two-on-five. Out it goes, on top of the site. Fame gets involved, Norbert gets a spam off, Flint as well, through another smoke on the short side. They can't even find him, they can't fight back. Fame's tucked in, Flint's drawing all the damage, they don't even know about Fame, and Big are getting melted in this rifle round. They can do it with pistols just fine, but as soon as the pressure's on, that 15th gets found first by outsiders. Don't celebrate too soon. Five alive as well. Jame time was always worth the wait. Outsiders just continue to be one of the most entertaining teams Dude, in Counter-Strike. It's so wild as well, because I think about what this does for Jame, you know? Like, having having one squad when you had, you know, pieces in there, like, like Kindar is obviously, like, the yeah. main talking point. But even, you know, really solid, like, kind of role players that have been around with you for, <laughs> for ages and Rocks guys like Buster. <laughs> You know, you, you, would, you would, like, a very, very stable unit that he was able to take to the top. But now to have done it again, when you lose your Kindar, someone who is, you know, widely regarded as he could go to any top team and make them a, yeah. a, a, a top, a, you know, like a top one title contender. They were talk there were people talking about him joining either phase or Na'Vi. Like, yeah. that's how, as so, teams that didn't even need changes. Exactly. And, and so, you know, if you're able to to go from losing someone like that, where they're, where they're such an important piece, they're such a, a, a talent, 
talented individual where it feels like they're kind of taking a lot of the team on their back and then you you lose them but you still craft a roster out of you know players you've been one of if not the best cis igl that we have right now yeah it's, i mean these these two teams have kind of similar stories in the sense that like big have always been that roster that org to pick out players from upcoming teams from sprout from their academy roster you know just uh, you know other germans with prospects and outsiders have been the same right taking players out of k23 out of forza and always finding upgrades no matter what yeah sure losing your kinder is a big oof but my god this roster still looks tantalizing sure smoke they're still mollied off big have a five on four found at the b site flip dead first jame behind the smoke big want nothing to do with it they peel back towards that b site kicker 20 health alone a molly that's all he has Krimbo again in apps. If he hears rotations, he can call them back. But right now, if Big just shuffle their way into an execute, they're going to win the round. Kicker's even playing at a position where he's committed and he will die at this position. Yeah, he's got to fight. Oh, got to fight every yeah. step of the way. And my goodness, he, he makes it look to. easy, doesn't he? Yeah. Two kills from that. He's done uh -oh. his part in the uh -oh. round. There's a lineup for Norbert. And it's all coming undone at the seams. Krimbo. Young Gun, he's got 45 seconds to fly up Banana and try to play this 1v3. Odds against him, world against him. James still on A, but they have the bomb back in spawn. Crimbo's going to walk into an orb, and if he dry fights this, if he sneaks around the corner, this is it, folks. GG. Outsiders take a 2-0 and zero 